of the base of the table. Um, and it's similar to the spindles that are underneath here, but it's a little bit easier because it's bigger and there's not um, as many small spots. So for that, I am using, again, the flexible 220 grit sandpaper and the sander head, also 220 grit. Um, and for most of it, I'll be using the sander head. So let's go ahead and do that. If you're not sure if you're sanding enough, um, I'm pretty sure if you notice that it's not as shiny as the other side that you didn't sand, then that's good enough. Use the flexible sandpaper. And these are a little more expensive than the normal sandpaper, um, and they only come four in a pack, and they tend to, um, to um, get dull pretty quickly so only if you really need them I would recommend spending the extra money um, they do come in handy but um, only if you really need it As you can see, I have some lighter spots here on these. That is uh, because I tried to use the oh, sander on the top part here that you'll see in a moment. And it uh, just rubbed on the balls of these spindles. So, not too bad. But enough, enough to be noticeable.